my name is Heather Dubay of Dubay Designs, and today I want to tell you a few fun things about myself, as well as a very fun and possibly risky thing that I did recently. I wasn't going to work in fashion, I would definitely work in music. It is my second biggest passion in life. At one point I wanted to be a musician. I do like to think that I'm a pretty decent singer. The fun thing about myself is that a few months ago I had a decision on if I should leave Tennessee or not. And one day I will, but I chose not to leave Tennessee for the specific reason of I decided that I wanted to combine my two passions and I wanted to design for musicians. What better place to find musicians than Music City? So I decided to move into Nashville so I would have a little bit better access. I could go to more shows, um, meet more musicians, especially local musicians, smaller musicians, and work my way up from there. I actually have a favorite musician who's located here in Nashville, the lovely and wonderful Annie DeRusso. I've met her a few times. I think she's a rather great person. I actually had the chance to go to her more recent EP release party with my girlfriend. Kind of funny, but my girlfriend and I bonded over Annie DeRusso in one of our first conversations. So thanks, Annie. You were Cupid, I guess. And I was able to get tickets for her most recent headlining show. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because she was supposed to have a show about a month ago now here in Nashville, but ended up having to reschedule it due to some health concerns. Totally understandable. But it actually gave me the opportunity to do something fun. So whenever I go to a concert that I'm really excited about, I actually design something new for that concert. So for instance, when I went to the Eras tour, I designed and sewed an entire dress um, made out of Taylor's different eras. Each tier is a different era. Um, then for Stevie Nicks, I did the same thing. I designed a dress to see Stevie Nicks and a wrap that went around it. It was a really great time. Um, I loved wearing those outfits to the shows. I loved people asking me about them and then me being like, oh, thanks. I made it myself. So I figured, listen, she is postponing this for a month. A month gives me some time, not much because I was going out of town, but some time to do something cool. So I designed a dress for myself, but I had an idea where I was like, listen, I've met Annie, okay? But I can't just like call Taylor up about the whole thing. Be like, can I make you a dress and then drop it off at your house like a freak? So instead, I was like, what I'll do is make a dress and give it to her in person at her show in public, like an even bigger freak, potentially. Um, but I decided that I wanted to make something for her and something for myself, just in the hopes that she would enjoy it, honestly, just as a gift, if she does love it and ever wear it and post it on Instagram, that would be fantastic. But we are not expecting that. This is purely as a gift because I am inspired by her music and her style and I think she's just so great. So for her idea, I decided that I wanted to thrift a couple really cool t-shirts, cut them up and do a patchwork style dress. Here's some of inspiration of like what she usually wears, which is kind of where I got the idea from. Uh, for my dress, I just took some gifted fabric that a friend gave me and then I did some like patchwork letters of her lyrics on it, which ended up being really fun and I'm super happy with the result of it. I got a lot of really good compliments, which I love to hear. I am a Leo. I do love the attention. For Annie's, when I went thrifting, I had trouble the first place that we went to. I didn't find anything. And then we went to a Buffalo Exchange and I was like, listen, I don't want to buy anything at a Buffalo Exchange. No shade to Buffalo Exchange, but it's going to be pricey, okay? But it's fine. I found some really cool t-shirts at a reasonable ish price and a very cool denim jacket so that was worth the trip alone doesn't have to do with any just a denim jacket for me i'm a denim jacket you will so <laughs> anyway i found some cool materials and i got started to work all right guys now it is my least favorite part of editing any video where i have to talk over this and tell you guys what i was doing so here i'm showing you all the pieces of fabric that i cut for my first dress so this whole first part of this montage is me making this dress. I don't know why I did a little peace sign. I was like, yeah, two pieces. This is so silly. Um, and then these are all the little letters that I cut out of scrap fabric. So basically what I wanted to do for this dress was like a baby doll dress, which consisted of like two um, pieces of fabric for the top that I put some darts in, and then like two really large pieces for the bottom that I was going to gather together to kind of give it that movement and that volume. So here you can see me really badly hemming the top um, because I was gonna roll it over and do it again. Um, and then I'm putting on the little letters, um, putting on the little A here. This is such exciting stuff, guys. Oh my gosh. Don't you- I'm so good at YouTube. Honestly, let's take a minute to reflect on that. Let's take a minute to think about how good Heather is at YouTube. 
Anyway, um, I decided to put these little letters on there because I know a lot of people were doing that with like the little t-shirts and stuff for her and I don't know, I thought it was a cool idea. Uh, and I also have all this scrap fabric from when I used to make masks during the pandemic. I sold them. Kind of helped me move um, away from an abusive relationship, which is a different conversation. But anyways, I made the- <laughs> So sorry, I'm so bad at this. I made the front say got all dressed up from her lyrics nauseous because I thought, hey, fitting. Um, and then you can see me gathering the skirt bottom and then I'm going to be, well, I sew the pieces together first and then I gather the skirt bottom and then I'm going to be attaching that to the top. It's a pretty simple pattern, um, but it's really effective. So for Annie's dress, I've got my thrifted t-shirts here. I'm basically showing you guys that I'm going to be cutting them um, like a little bit below the sleeves so that I can get some bottom pieces to use for the dress, as well as I can make the dress have like this dragon shirt as the top. Um, and I'm cutting down the sides of each of the bottom pieces so that I can use them individually um, for the patchwork. I went into so much detail for this. Um, and then I'm using the pieces to measure out my other fabrics that I'm going to be using for the patchwork. So I think in total this used about five or six different fabrics, which is pretty crazy. Um, and I measured out each of them so that they were exact, you know, same piece then I line them up and I sew them all together in a chain and I do the same thing that I did with the baby doll dress which is a lot of gathering right? the top piece is a smaller train the bottom piece is a bigger train and that's how it makes that shape so here we have the cute montage of what the dresses ended up looking like I was really happy with how they came out um, I'm a really big fan of mine. I love the movement in it. I had a little bit of a problem with the straps on mine, so I am sure that I will replace them after the event, just because they kept falling down and I adjusted them several times and it just wasn't working out. So I think I'm gonna use a different fabric for them. Then we have Annie's dress. I am talking in this video and I'm just now realizing that. I think I'm talking to my roommate. Um, I had to try this on for photos and videos so that I would have like a copy of it. Um, and it was raining the day of the show and I didn't really have an option because literally like I made these kind of like the day before. Um, so I just kind of had to go with it. But anyways, that is what they ended up looking like. Super exciting stuff. Now we're gonna hear some thoughts before the show. I am all dressed and ready to go. You can see got all dressed up and I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not like, she didn't ask for this. I'm just going to her show and I was like, I'm gonna make her something. And now when I see her, I've met her before, but now when I see her this time, I'm gonna be like, hey, <laughs> I made you an entire dress. Do you want it basically? I'm trying to think of what to say. I was thinking like, hey, <laughs> hey, like, I'm hoping that she'll say something about this dress be like, oh, did you, did you make that? It has my lyrics on it. And then I could be like, I did. I actually, I actually made something for you too. Crazy that you said that. I brought you a gift. Um, it's gonna also be pretty obvious because I literally am bringing it in like a box in a tote bag. And I'm gonna be like, hey, this box is for you. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see how it goes. All right, now we're on to showtime. So she had two openers, Willa May, um, and then she also had Hannah Cole. Willa May, kind of funny. My girlfriend and I, our second date, we saw Willa May in a, like a prom themed event. Um, and this concert that we went to was a, like a week before our six month anniversary. So it was very full circle for us. Um, we actually got a message from Willa May who was like, that's really cute because I posted about it, uh, which was really sweet to have. This is my favorite thing that Annie DeRusso does. I have infinite Jess tattooed on my arm. I designed the tattoo, it's really cool. Annie liked it, but I love when she does this. Oh my God, it's so cool. It makes such a cool sound. I think she's the coolest person ever. Uh, but yeah, I had so much fun at the show. There were some wonderful people that I met there who guarded the dress for me and helped me figure out how to get it back to her. And huge shout out to those people who stood there and watched this dress the entire show so that it was safe and also helped me come up with the idea um, to get it to her. You guys are literally the best. I hope you're seeing this because I love you and you're wonderful. And I'm glad we also got to talk after the show and wait for Annie together so I didn't feel so crazy. Um, but anyways, we're going to get into the outro. I'm so happy I got to go to the show and it was just a wonderful experience. Ah, so lovely. Well, as you can see, the show was really fun. I had a really good time. 
Um, unfortunately, didn't, she didn't come out at the end of the show. I don't believe she comes out at the end of all of her shows. Um, I was lucky the few times that I did get to meet her when she came out at the end of her shows. But this one, she didn't come out. Totally fine. Um, I actually ran up to somebody that was on stage and I was like, hey, I'm so sorry, this is so weird, but like, I, I, I just want to give her something. I don't have to talk to her, like, I just want to give her something. Um, and I gave him the box with like my business card in it. And I was like, listen, my business card's in it. If she wants to know who made it, I would like for her to know I made it. Um, but like, you know, no, no press, whatever. Um, hey guys, editor Heather here. I had to take out this entire part of my outro because I ended up getting a response from Annie. Um, I did hyperventilate, screenshot, reset, freak out when I saw it. You can look at the top quarter. I responded within two minutes, but it's because I was... I was taking time to like reflect as a person and stare at the message, send it to my girlfriend, hyperventilate, you know, the usual. Um, and so <laughs> she actually said that she loved it. It was amazing. Wore it to the after party, everything I could hope for. Um, so I'm really glad, Annie, that you loved the dress. I did have to like tape over this outro. So um, yeah, update, con confirmation that Annie liked it. Um, and now back to the outro. How exciting, guys. Just had a lot of fun making it. Um, it turned out very cool, which I'm really proud of. I got to take some photos in it. Um, my friends really liked it. Some people at the show really liked it. I ended up meeting some very sweet people there. Enjoyed this. It's a little bit different from the other content that I've made, but I thought it was really fun. You know, I still hope those things, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Had a fun time watching it. Had a fun time watching me chaotically make this dress. I should also mention I made these, like, the maybe two days before max but i was really speeding i was speeding on this whole project i didn't have a lot of time um but i made it happen and that's what matters so i hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys like my art my projects and annie if you ever see this i hope that you also enjoy my dress and wear it forever and love it forever it was designed especially for you anyway i will see you guys very soon with a, another video and i'll see you july 26th for the next carbon series video.